Hi everyone. Um, this is not going to be a negative video, but I hope it's educational. Today I asked Kenny, what, what day um, is the 28th? And he said, well, that's Thanksgiving Day. And I said, no, that's the day my mother died. Um, so to me, that was a sign for me to go ahead and do this educational video on Thanksgiving. Um, now I'm, I'm going to just go ahead and I'm going to try to make this fast. And I, I'm not trying to offend anybody because I think everyone should give thanks or blessings every day for everything you have. I'm also going to leave some links below. Um, and I hope you go and read them and watch them. Some will be video links. One will be Code of a Warrior, which I insist people read these days. If you call yourself a warrior, you need to know the Code of a Warrior if you live in America. So let me get to this really fast. Hold on. All right. Um, a lot of you guys know how this started, but I'm going to go ahead and read some of this and I'll leave the link. In 1637, near present day, Groton, Connecticut, over 700 men, women, and children of the Pequot tribe had gathered for their annual green corn festival, which is our Thanksgiving celebration. In the pre-dawn hours, the sleeping Indians were surrounded by English and Dutch mercenaries who ordered them to come outside. Those who came out were shot or clubbed to death, while the terrified women and children who huddled inside the longhouse were burned alive. The next day, the governor of Massachusetts Bay Colony declared a day of Thanksgiving because 700 unarmed men, women, and children had been murdered. Cheered by the victory, the brave colonists and their Indian allies attacked, the villi attacked village after village. Women and children over 14 were sold into slavery while the rest were murdered. Boats loaded with as many as 500 slaves regularly regularly left the ports of New England. Bounties were paid for Indian scalps to encourage as many deaths as possible. Following an especially successful raid against the Pequot in now, what is now uh, Stamford, Connecticut, the churches announced a second day of Thanksgiving to celebrate victory over the heathen savages. During the feasting, the hacked-off heads of natives were kicked through the streets like soccer balls. Even the friendly um, Wamp Wampanoag did not escape the madness. Their chief was beheaded and his head impaled on a pole in Plymouth, Massachusetts, where it remained on display for 24 years. The killings became more and more frenzied, at, with days of Thanksgiving feasts being held after each successful massacre. George Washington finally suggested that the only that only one day of Thanksgiving per year should be set aside instead of celebrating each and every massacre. Later, Abraham Lincoln decreed Thanksgiving Day to, d to be a legal national holiday during the Civil War. On the same day, he ordered the troops to march against the starving Sioux in Minnesota. This story doesn't have quite the same fuzzy feeling associated with it as the one the Indians and pilgrims are all sitting down together at a big feast. But we need to learn our true history so it won't be repeated. Next Thanksgiving, when you gather with your loved ones to thank God for all your blessings, think about those people who only wanted to live their lives and raise their families. They also took time out to say thank you to the Creator for all of their blessings. So there you have it. So Thanksgiving being a holiday, which really means Holy Day, was actually a blood sacrifice and and through psyops through the way government and uh, Freemasons do because George Washington was a Freemason um, they will get you and inv you involved in, in participating in, in it saying pilgrims and Indians sat down to this lovely holiday and or holy day and exchanged food when that's not the case so you're actually you're actually celebrating a blood sacrifice. So this Thanksgiving, when you sit down with your loved ones, think of it as something else. Think of it as sitting down and being blessed. And, and remember those who did die and who were massacred. That would be a right start. And then let's start educating peoples on the truth 
of what's going on because it has not stopped. Like I said, my mother was exterminated in, in the year 1968, and this has not stopped. This is still continuing to this day. This is the longest massacre on history or Holocaust in history. And I'm going to leave a few links below. This was not meant to be negative. I'm not telling you not to sit and be with your loved ones on Thanksgiving. Um, I myself will not be doing that. I have my reasons. But for everyone who is sitting with your, your family, please think of those. The people who came here for religious um, freedoms killed people who had spiritual freedom. I mean, isn't that kind of ironic so I just want to leave you with that and I love everybody I'm not trying to make this negative but I thought that my mother's death date follow following uh, followed on on the uh, Thanksgiving holiday was a sure sign that I needed to start educating people better and I love you guys and thanks for listening to me links below love you all and I'm out